Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles with you here. Um, early on a Saturday morning. Um, Bishop Snyder has made some comments here. I'm going to read this to you. And then I sort of have a new angle on um, both he and Cardinal Mueller uh, that I want to share with you. So let's read the article first. Pope Francis has claimed that the death penalty is immoral is a contradiction, not a development of Catholic doctrine. Bishop Anathadius Snyder told EWTN on May 16th. He went on explaining that Francis's Abu Dhabi declaration is wrong because it claims that God wills the positive diversity of the sexes and the bad diversity of religions in the same way. Schneider asked for a public correction because this claim is wrong. Nevertheless, the open letter accusing Francis of heresy goes for him too far. So he's like Cardinal Mueller. He's saying it's going, it's, um, people are taking it too far. He believes that Francis's statements about marriage do not rise to the level of heresy. He presents the strange theory that Francis denies the truth in practice, but not by words. The presence of formal heresy in Francis's statements are for him only ambigu ambiguities, which practically contribute to the spreading of wrong teachings. It seems evident that Schneider would consider the same ambiguities to be heresies if they were pronounced by somebody who is not a pope. Well, that's their take on it. You know, what, what I was thinking of is that um, there are, and you know, probably the vast majority of Catholics uh, that believe that the pope is not a heretic. And uh, voices like uh, Cardinal Mueller and uh, Bishop Schneider are, for them, a um, moderate voice. In other words, um, they also think that he is not a heretic. But at the same time, um, they respect um, their thinking um, about there are real, you know, real concerns about... Um, uh, what he's doing and the changes he's making. So, you know, um, if they would uh, say that he was a heretic, then um, I think the vast majority of people would just write them off as being, um, you know, ultra-conservative, right, or radical, um, and stop listening to them. You know, um, God works in mysterious ways, and... Um, you know, I mean, I take them at their word, both Cardinal Mueller and Bishop Schneider, um, that they really don't think he's um, a heretical pope. And uh, just because um, I do, and some of you may, or I actually I know that you do, um, at least some of you um, think that he is, um, you know, doesn't mean we're right. I mean, maybe we're wrong. I mean, you know... Um, you know, it's an important thing to consider, you know, that we're, we're, we're wrong and, um, you know, the vast majority of people are right about this, that he, it, um, he hasn't done things to um, raise the situation to uh, where he's actually committing heresy. So, you know, there's a good side to this, and that's um, the vast majority of Catholics still have respect for Bishop Schneider and Cardinal Mueller um, and see them as a uh, voice of um, um, a moderate voice in the church um, and um, we'll, we'll listen to them, you know, and this could be God's way of using the two of them to um, take people 
um, you know, like in, in baby steps, you know, to the realization uh, that he is a heretical pope, um, if, if that's true. Uh, I, this is sort of my own theory here, but, um, you know, so, I mean, there's really a good side to this that they haven't, um, they don't believe this. And again, you know, we could be wrong. Um, they could be right uh, about this. Um, so um, I think it's important, you know, I, I think it, it, there's a, a really good part of this, um, uh, but both of them saying that uh, he's not her heretical pope, and that's, um, you know, that uh, people still consider them um, and um, respectable and listen to them and um, share their concerns that um, there are some things that he does and says um, that are very concerning. Um, you know, this could be God's way of moving people along to, to the realization um, that there is something uh, much deeper and much more serious going on here. Um, so um, I'd like for you to consider that. Um, and I really, I really don't think they're lying. I don't think they're being politicians. I don't think they're being cowards. I, I really don't. But uh, again, you know, that would be my opinion. You know, maybe you feel differently about it. Well, no doubt some of you do. And uh, I'll hear about that in the comments. And, you know, I mean, this isn't something I want to spend uh, a lot of time talking about with you or... You know, certainly not going to get into, uh, you know, standing my ground here. It's just, um, you know, an idea that I have, and um, I think it makes sense. Um, um, but whether it's true or not, I don't know. Um, in other words, you know, what I don't know is true or not is whether or not uh, th they're being um, totally honest with... Um, you know, that they're not being a coward, that they're not being a politician, uh, that they're not just lying. In other words, that they really do feel that he is a heretical pope and they have some alter, uh, ulterior motive for saying that he isn't. I think they're being honest. I, um, well, that's my own gut feeling. All right, well, um, that's that, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.